Let me begin this lesson by asking all of you guys out there a question, okay? How many of you use Photoshop on more than one machine? Now, that's an important question because if you don't, then what I'm going to show you is not as important, although it still is important, but not as. I'm talking about synchronization. Now, I use Photoshop on one, two, three different machines. I'm in my studio right now, and I'm using my studio machine. But I also have it on my laptop when I go fly out somewhere and lecture, and I have it on a system at university. Now, this system that I'm working on right now with this beautiful picture right here is the one where I do most of my innovation, if you will, creating unique types of workspaces, working with actions, things like that. I build all that stuff here. And years and years ago, I used to figure out all these creative ways that I could move that work to my other systems. But we don't have to do that anymore. Synchronization is not new, but it has been totally improved. Let me show you this. Go up to the word Photoshop if you are a Mac person. If you're Windows, go to the word Edit, and then come down and go to Preferences. Now, once you get here, they're the same preferences. Go into Sync Settings right here. Now, you have two options up here. Let's start at the top and work our way down. It does tell me the last time I uploaded and or downloaded. If I want to, come over here. Here's the two buttons to do that. Now, over here are the advanced settings. And advanced settings are what do you want to sync. I want you to check out this stuff. Preferences, workspaces, actions, brushes, swatches, styles, gradients, custom shapes, tool presets, patterns, and contours. Now, the trick is we have to get it into the cloud. So I make some unique workspaces, which is new. That's new. It's never been in sync before. I make some really cool workspaces that I want to work with, preferences, brushes, custom shapes, and I upload them by clicking right here. Now, I've already uploaded one time, and it's not going to upload on top of something unless it's changed, but the log will tell you what you have uploaded. Now, I've got my laptop. I'm in, I don't know, New York City, London, wherever, the North Pole. And I think, oh, man, I need those actions or I need those workspaces. That would make my life so much easier, but I forgot to move them manually. This stuff is in the cloud, okay? I have loaded it into the cloud, and now I want it to rain down on my laptop. I can come over here and choose the things that I want to take from the cloud onto my computer and then click the download button right here. The ability to sync not just things like preferences, but even workspaces, actions, all these different things just adds one more level of control and efficiency to Adobe Photoshop. Pretty cool if you ask me.